What is up, you endurance fans? This is OBB, the diecast news guy. I hope you guys got your nice and shiny sports cars uh, rocking and rolling and heading out to the garages because we are going to be talking about some IMSA and WEC content coming up in this, uh, well, more of a model slash diecast review, but what I'm about to show you is a car that I picked up from last year's Rolex 24, and in honor of that, I decided, what the hell, good time to review, because if you guys aren't aware, with the IMSA schedule, Road Atlanta for PT Lama is this week, and your boy's going to check it out for one, so I'll let you guys know how I do that if you follow me on my social medias, but today it is going to be on a World Endurance Championship from the Sparky model set, well, known as Spark models, um, this is their 164 scale line, but this is going to be on your, uh, uh, on <laughs> anybody who's a WEC fan probably knows who this is, this is the, uh, the, uh, the iconic Toyota uh, Kazoo Racing, uh, with their uh, very iconic LMP1 uh, hybrid prototype of the Toyota TSO 50, and, um, yeah, I mean, anybody who has watched, uh, my good buddy, uh, Race Day 2011, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> Robbie Noonan, um, you have probably seen this review, and I thought this be a good time to review it and plus we got some some pretty darn good uh quality for a die cast that i'll probably tell you guys in a sec of what how much i paid for this car but uh mini max yeah look at that shit <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and start off the die cast review the official unboxing of the toyota kazoo hybrid uh prototype kr all righty you bunch of toyotas we got this die cast out of its box and as you can see this is uh an incredibly cool detailed 164 scaled uh die cast model i mean it may look like a model but I kid you not, this is mostly all metal. There are some pieces that are pretty fragile that we'll be going to in a second. But knowing me and my clumsy ass, I'm probably going to break something. So uh, note to self, uh, OBB, OBB always carries a thing of super glue with him because, heck, <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. But with my shenanigans out of the way, man, I have to say, Spark or Sparky, um, why, every time I think of it, no, that, it's not that damn dog from Fairly Odd Parents, you know. <laughs> this is a really cool die cast model. As you see, there's all the, uh, as you see, uh, this is not the winner from the Le Mans. It finished actually second, but the number eight car actually won. So, I mean, technically they still won. I mean, winning, winning the 24 hours of Le Mans for five times in a row. Um, God damn, dude. It's pretty much an iconic livery at this point when it comes to the to the WEC. But now you're probably like, okay, how do we get this car out of the base? Like, is it just permanently on here? Because, you know, some people do like to have the feel of the die cast in their hands. Well, that's when Sparky actually decided, hey, you know what? We're going to do something that, like, I don't know. If you like uh, uh, doing, like, the little twisties and turnies, then that's all it is. So you just take this piece right here and you just unlock it like that. Like some sort of, like, secret safe or something from Indiana Jones. And then, boom, the die cast comes out. Man, that's probably something that I think Lionel will like to incorporate. But hey that's just too much some weird grease stains here too so I have to clean that shit up when i'm done but getting on to the car man i will have to say and a lot of people are like well yeah this is definitely a model because you can see the wheels don't really roll well they kind of do but um as you can see it looks like this car probably has some flat spots but that's just probably from the sun yeah goddamn <laughs> if that's what a michelin tire is supposed to look like good lord but i'm assuming what happens probably how this uh the rubber got warped because like i said i got this outside of a tent at um dur during the uh, rolex 24 from 2022 but as you guys can see, this thing has so much cool detail to it. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you guys the nice fine details. Look at this. We're going to get to some real shit. Look at that. We got real headlights. We got like a plastic splitter from what I can see, but still just really nice. Look at all the curvatures that you got. I mean, I'm not really, um, I apologize if I don't know any like the technical terms. I am a car enthusiast, but don't really watch that much 24 hours. I know it's kind of surprising, but I am a big fan of uh, Toyota, by the way. Hi, <laughs> with the Y. Um, and you see Toyota Gazoo Racing, Denso. I believe that they are actually, um, actually, I'm familiar with Denso products, actually, because, um, heck, but that is one of their main sponsors on this car. I mean, it's probably basically a Toyota part uh, brand. But um, as you guys all see right here, look at this. They they even have uh, not only interior detail. And look, we even got mirrors, which are rubber. But that's something that we also have noticed with the Mini GT diecast, which can't stress enough how cool those look. But just look at the curvatures on this, man. The cutouts and the tires do roll, even though you got the warpage in the tires. Um, just like Mini GT, I've noticed that they can't actually have the Michelin printing on here. Uh, but I think on the... Uh, on the uh, on the uh, Tarmark or Turmac um, cars. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of that right, but as you can see, I have really reviewed that. Uh, this is my first time reviewing a Spark model for the 164 scale line, but man, they did a really good job. But I'm also noticing as well, if you look in this light where the uh, windscreen is or um, the aero screen, where you want to call that, um, the inside dash the, of the cockpit, we see a windshield wiper that's actually molded in to the windshield. Gee, not a decal. So, and again, I think I probably paid. 
10 11 or $12, somewhere around that range. Damn, I realize this is going to be a game of prices, right? Goddamn. If I'm going too high, I'm definitely going to be hitting the cliffhanger, if you know what I mean. So, you're lay who, bitch. <laughs> but I'm sure anybody who is a sports car fan probably watching, okay, this guy really has a, a weird... Um, I don't know. I, I, this is how I do my diecast review. So any guys who are just now starting to watch this, uh, well, first of all, welcome. And definitely who seems welcome is that Michelin man right there just peeking into that little uh, um, air doctor there says, hey, bitch. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, my camera can't really catch all the good details because there are so many fine, small details on this where you barely can even read it. But you see, we got WEC, World Endurance Championship, a lot of other uh, Japanese sponsors, uh, of course, probably from Kobayashi, Mitsubishi. Uh, as in lots of really really nice hotel mobile one and they see there's all the names that are pretty much squished right there but anybody who is a f1 indycar fan you'll probably recognize uh majority of those names especially jose Mar maria lopez um well more into the uh WEC and imso so branches out for all three series but um as you can see just really great curvatures that we got look at this there's even detail in the rims and look you can probably even see that there could be probably might even look like there could be, I think, detail right here. There might be a brake rotor or something there. Kind of hard to tell. But, man, Spark models really just know how to do their trick. You see these exhaust ports and the upside-down Michelin logos. Don't worry. They're not going to be upset with that branding. And Toyota Kazoo Racing on the back, which is all plastic, so definitely be careful. I mean, uh, it might say it's a die cast, but these things uh, will uh, break off pretty easily. But still feels like it's pretty good high quality, to say it the most part. And you see there's the fuel cell, which is painted gold. And we got more high. <laughs> but... Pretty much blown away by this, man. This is some really, really great uh, casting for the, uh, I believe, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, they don't run this uh, model anymore, as far as I know. But this is the, um, if you guys aren't familiar with Toyota Kazoo Racing, they have won uh, basically, not this year's, but I think what, like, the last uh, five or six years, they've just been just at it, man. I mean, they've won the Le Mans like five times. Um, but this car in particular has only won, I think, once. And if I remember correctly... Uh, I think it was a year or two after. I mean, again, I could be wrong, but I, but like majority of the times the eight car is the one who has been winning. You can definitely tell I'm a newbie with this because they're like, oh man, <laughs> this guy doesn't know his, uh, his, uh, his uh, LMP1 cars, but Heck, I watched them stuff for quite a while, so I got some knowledge, to say the least. But, hey, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> but I am really impressed by this. So if you guys actually, um, or if you guys are wondering, um, this is how the bottom looks. I mean, it does look pretty boxy and kind of squares, but, um, or more rectangular. But, uh, yeah, still is pretty cool. I really appreciate Spark has been doing this. And if you guys are liking this quality, uh, be sure on the lookout. We're going to be getting some, uh, they, they actually are making F1 164s, not only for Mini GT, but also for uh, uh, Spark. So if you guys ever end up finding this, or if you end up shopping at Gutsway Racing, I would absolutely highly recommend checking this out because as you can see, the casting is great. The paint and decals look amazing. Just the littlest details you could just see on this car really just encourages you that, man, <laughs> Us NASCAR fans probably deserve something a little bit better. But, um, yeah, dude, I mean, comment below if any of you guys have watched the uh, Rolex 24 or the 24 Hours of Le Mans, or even if you guys are going to be heading out to Road Atlanta for um, coming this uh, coming today or tomorrow, whenever I upload this, or the day after. But this is going to wrap up the Diecast uh, model review of the uh, Toyota Gazoo Racing number 7 LMP1 car, uh, driven by Mike Conway, uh, uh, K um, Kamoi K Kibayashi, um, or Kimiyu, or uh, however you pronounce that. Clearly, I need to work on my Japanese because I can't pronounce that name. <laughs> and Jose Mar Maria Lopez. Um, but yeah, so ahead, man. So <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be uh, an interesting one for you guys to check out. But um, yeah, you can see it. Go find it. If not, then not the end of the world. But this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. And I will catch you guys next time on another Diecast review. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and zoo our way out of here. And man, I need to come up with a better punchline than these reviews. Have a good one, y'all.